A busy weekend for football continued today and tonight at Lucas Oil Stadium. A trio of local high school teams are walking away as state champions. Brad Brown has a recap of the action, plus a look at IU's latest Big Ten win. Day two at the football state finals, Bishop Chittard and Danville meeting in the 3A championship. The Trojans rolled out fast, built a 21-0 lead. Tommy Hannon running in two of those first three scores. Danville would get on the board in the second quarter. Kale Payne finding Luke Wooten on the screen pass. He found some open space and goes all the way. 36-yard touchdown for the Warriors. But Chittard got one more before the break. Carter St. John found Thomas Coleman, their second TD connection. It was 28-7 advantage at halftime. The Trojans kept doing what they've been doing all season. Hannon with his third touchdown run of the night. It is Chittard's 15th football state championship. Now back-to-back 3A champs with a 42-14 win. It was our coaches pushing us to our full potential. They know even if we got a win that we can work harder and we can always prove, uh, always improve on our mistakes. And they've always just taught just be physical for four quarters and fight hard. We had to cr scratch and claw, and sometimes that makes you a little tougher. A little grit uh, we had to find uh, early on through the, the COVID and some tough games. And we came through some tight spots against some really good teams this year. And I think every week that prepared us. The Class 1A final had a pair of first-timers, Covenant Christian facing South Adams. CC gave up an early score, but quickly got things going in their favor. Micah Wilson got loose on a late first quarter run, 27 yards to the end zone, part of a 230-yard performance for Wilson. The Warriors built a 27-6 lead at halftime. A wild fourth quarter saw South Adams score four straight touchdowns and take the lead. Covenant answered with a couple more big plays. Austin Frazier to Adrian Terry on a 31-yard strike. That tied the game at 34-all with five minutes left. After a stop, it would be Gage Coffey getting loose on a run. 34 yards later, CC had retaken the lead, but they would still have some work to do. South Adams scored with 90 seconds left. Starfires went for two to take the lead, but the Covenant defense gets the stop. And the Warriors close out their first state title in any sport with a thrilling one-point win to finish the season. Just being underrated throughout the year and uh, finally getting the recognition that we, we deserve as a team. Um, it makes it all worthwhile. You can't say enough about the character, the, the calm confidence, the leadership, the heart. The, just They make me a better man by being around them. Everybody just knows we're going to get a ring, we're going to get another big trophy, and it's going to be awesome. The weekend's final game featured Cathedral and Zionsville in 5A. The Irish put up the first three touchdowns, including a pair of scoring passes from Nathan McCahill. This one to tight end Parker Spalacy. In the second quarter, it would be Cam Jordan making some moves to find the end zone. Cathedral built a 22 to nothing lead. They held the ball for 16 of the first 18 minutes. Zionsville would get one before the end of the half. They added another to open the third quarter. Josh Stone finding Luke Baumgardner for the 20-yard TD. That same pair would connect again later. The Eagles get within eight. But the Irish able to get one back with the longest play of the game. McCahill finds David Perry over the middle. A defender slips, and it's a track meet from there. 75 yards later, Perry is in the end zone for Cathedral. They take a two-score lead to the fourth quarter. They're looking to clinch the school's 13th football state title if they hold on for the win.